Hey y'all, thanks for coming back for another What's for Dinner video. I hope that you like these ideas for your family, and if you do try them, don't forget to tag me over on Facebook or Instagram and let me know how you liked it. If you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to watch one of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because I share homemaking videos here on YouTube every week. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So the first recipe that I'm going to share with you today is rice dressing and for this I'm just using a little over a pound of pork sausage and then a little over a pound of ground beef. I'm just going to season it really well and then let it cook down. You can season it with your favorite seasoning blends but today I'm using the Cajun redhead, onion powder, and garlic salt. So I'm sorry I don't really measure out seasonings, but something my mom taught me is to just cover the top of whatever you're cooking with the seasoning. As you can see here, how the onion powder just completely covers mostly the top of the meat. And so that's how I do it, and you kind of learn your likes and dislikes. Sometimes you'll want to add a little more and sometimes a little bit less. Um, if you're a beginner cooker, it's just trial and error. I had no idea how to cook whenever we first got married. But I kept trying because, first of all, I love food. And secondly, I just really want to provide good meals for my family. And not only my family, but others as well. But anyways, after you get your meat drained, you can go ahead and add in four cups of water. So after you mix in your water, you can add some better than bouillon. A heaping tablespoon would be ideal, but that's all I had left. If you don't have better than bouillon, you can use bouillon cubes. And then here I'm adding a little bit of Tony's dry roux and a cap full of kitchen bouquet. Bring it to a boil and add two cups of rice. So let it boil for just a couple of minutes and then turn your heat down low. Cover your pot and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. I say 20 to 30 minutes, but check it at 20 minutes and if it looks like it still needs to cook, just let it cook for about 5 to 10 minutes more. So it should be nice and fluffy like this whenever it's done. This was really good and we just ate it by itself as a meal but it's also good as a side dish. So the next recipe is for baked chicken legs and I had melted down about three tablespoons of butter and I'm just adding a tablespoon of Italian seasonings, a tablespoon of garlic salt, a tablespoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of pick a pepper sauce. Then I just poured it into the bag with the chicken legs and tried to mix it all around and get the chicken coated evenly. And then I just left it on the counter for about 15 or 20 minutes before I did anything with it. My chicken was barely thawed out so it was okay to leave on the counter a little while longer. And so after that 20 minutes was up, I sprayed a baking dish with some olive oil and then I just put my chicken legs into the baking dish and I moved them around so that they would fit evenly and then I just took a little brush and kind of brushed the seasonings a little bit more evenly onto the chicken legs. Then I put them in the oven at 375 for one hour. These came out really good and I just served them with some cheesy pasta and baked beans. The next recipe I'm going to share with you is a tomato soup, which was actually inspired by Ali Gooch. I have made this recipe so many times and I have just tweaked it a little bit. Um, so the first thing that I did was I poured a little bit of oil in the bottom of my pot and then I put two cups of pick sweet seasoning blend 
and I'm just going to soften those vegetables. After the vegetables are cooked down and soft, I added one can of crushed tomatoes and then one carton of chicken broth. So then I turned the heat up to bring it to a low boil and then I started seasoning it with some dry basil, some Italian seasoning, and garlic salt. And then for a little bit of spice I sprinkled in some crushed red pepper flakes. Then I added about a fourth a cup of ditalini pasta directly into the soup, stirred it around and let it come to a boil and I just cooked the pasta in the soup. I really like to do this because then the pasta really takes on the flavor of the soup and it's so good and since this pasta is pretty small, it doesn't really um, take over the soup. So then you need one cup of heavy cream, which I didn't have any in my fridge, so I went ahead and made some. To make your own heavy cream, you need three-fourths of a cup of regular milk and then one-fourth of a cup of melted butter. This has become one of our favorite meals and I just served it with a biscuit on the side. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.